what's up everybody what's up what's up what's up so let me move that out the way i am making oxtails because a lot of y'all have asked me how do you make it what do you put in there what do you do now this is something i did for the first time well the second time this will be my third time and it actually came out really really good the first time i learned i did it with my mom the second time I did it by myself, which was when we, me and Devon and Cartier did that mukbang. And then this will be my third time. And um, I'm doing this because everybody keep asking. So I'm gonna show y'all what to do, what to put in it. And everybody makes it different. So please don't be in the comments talking about something. Eh, eh, that ain't right. No, you ain't doing it right. I'm just gonna do it the way that I have learned. Um, and I'm still not even doing it really the way that I learned because the way that I learned, I didn't learn it in a crock pot. I learned it on the stove and the stove takes a lot longer. Well, not, not longer, but it takes longer to stand in front of it and do it rather than putting it in a crock pot and just doing it. You get it? You get what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Um, so like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. If you want me to do another cooking video, of like something else i don't know what today i made steak and it was really really good um but if y'all want me to do another cooking video this video has to get like a thousand likes it needs to get a whole bunch of views and you need to share it and show it to everybody you know period okay are you listening to me are you hearing me okay cool beans yay now let's start i'm gonna show you guys everything um, I kind of prepped stuff already too because I didn't want to be on here like, okay, so you got to cut this all up. I didn't want to be doing all that. So I'm going to just tell you everything. Um, and you could add more, you could add less um, of the stuff that goes in there. But at, you know, as you go, as you cook, you like more flavor. Everybody likes different stuff. But I'm going to show y'all um, the stuff that I put in there. So, like a little setup. Okay, so this is my crock pot my humongous crock pot well it's not humongous but it's a decent size okay so this is all the stuff that you need to put inside of the oxtails okay so we're gonna start up here this is two carrots cut up two scallions cut up a whole medium onion cut up three um three garlic cloves cut up a scotch bonnet pepper please 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 only one okay if you like more spice then you cut up one and when you make um, oxtail or whatever you use when you use a scotch bonnet pepper you if you want to leave the little seeds in there it gives it more of a spice but if you don't want too much spice please take it out Lord what are you doing young ladies y'all Cartier is being a stinky butt okay so parsley salt soy sauce brown sugar ketchup Worcestershire sauce okay oxtail season allspice black pepper okay so with making um oxtail they have different browning sauce I use the Ocho's Rio one um I, blah, blah, blah. I use the Ocho's Rio's one like the first time so my mom and everybody I know usually uses this one the grace so I'm gonna use this one this time ginger uh beef stock in here is bay leaves this is star and 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 eyes star and eyes i think that's how you say it i never say it right um parsley i mean thyme and tomato okay all this is gonna go in here along with the oxtails here are the babies okay this is four pounds that means Four pounds, that means $40, $50 of oxtails in this little container here. I already checked. I washed them. When you clean your meat, y'all, you either use vinegar, lime. And don't talk about my nails because they look horrible. I'm going to get them done. Please don't. Um, they look like uh, booty fingers. <laughs> Let me shut up. <laughs> okay, but oxtails, I cleaned them already. Lime, vinegar, um They've been kind of like frozen, so I've been letting them sit kind of today for like three hours, just trying to make sure they're not tough. And then you're gonna put um, butter beans in at the end. But let me show you guys how you do it. So, 
I really want y'all to see like how I do it, but I don't have a good. Uh -uh. Okay, so this is the oxtails, okay? So first you're gonna add salt. You're gonna add three fourths of salt. That sounds like a lot of salt, but it's really not, okay? Salt. I'm just, I'm not gonna add that much salt because I don't like a lot of salt, y'all. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I don't like salt like that, okay? So then you're gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce, but I don't really do, the, do that all the time. Do it like adding um, measurements unless it's something that I don't really know about. Um, then it is one tablespoon of ginger so now ginger is a spice that i don't really know too much about so i'm gonna go by the measurement <laughs> with ginger um and you're supposed to use like one full tablespoon of ginger yeah a full tablespoon okay and it's ground ginger okay then you're gonna use tomato paste but i'm not using tomato paste you can use tomato paste if you want to, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna show y'all what I am gonna use though. Um, then you're gonna use the oxtail seasoning. There's other seasonings that you can add in there. Um, like they have a West Indy um, seasoning you can get. Um, usually you could get the seasonings and stuff from like uh, meat stores. They usually carry like you know, um, what is it called? Uh, the exotic, uh, exotic, um, y'all get what I'm saying, right? Okay, all right, y'all get what I'm saying. The Caribbean seasonings. God damn, why was it so hard for me to get that? Oh, Lord. Okay, thank you. Oh. Okay, thank you, okay. Then I'm gonna add the Worcestershire sauce, okay? Worcestershire. A little bit of Worcestershire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you're gonna add uh, black pepper. So I'm gonna open. Why do I feel like? Oh, this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. I think I'm done. So now black pepper, I opened the big part so I don't have to sit here and go with the little sprinkling part. Um, next, I'm going to add the thyme. <coughs> what is going on? Let me, let me, let me get some of my juice. All right. All right, so thyme, this is thyme. You're gonna use like four strips of it. And I never really knew what time was. I still kind of don't know what it is, but it's a seasoning that a lot of island people use, okay? And my mother would tell me to use this stick and leave it in there. So I'm gonna leave one of these sticks in here. My grandmother, when she used to make this, she used to leave like the sticks in there. And I used to be like, why are you leaving the sticks in there? But we're gonna leave the stick in there. Okay. Um, then you're gonna use the chopped scallion. So this is the scallion. Okay, that's the scallion. I chopped everything up, I told you guys. So we don't be here for forever. Okay. Then we're gonna use the garlic cloves. It really doesn't matter what order you put them in either. I'm just going by what I have written down. Um, you have your medium onion. See, look at this. I, did, I should never put this down. So all that, yep, all that is going in there. I'm gonna just go ahead and add my scotch bonnet pepper too. Please, after you um, touch that scotch bonnet pepper, make sure you wash your hands because that stuff is strong. Like you, it, it feels like you're being pepper sprayed, okay? when it touch your eyeballs um next you're gonna do the large tomato okay this is one tomato okay i don't want all that juice but this is one tomato cut up okay one tomato erase my hand okay 
Then you have your carrot. I'm gonna put the carrots in when I when I fully um, got everything in there. Uh, you're gonna use one star and and I and eyes star and eyes. Okay, because I never say it right. So this is a star and eyes. It looks like a little star. You see that? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna actually put two in there. I don't want one. I want two. Because I remember when I was making it, I added another one. Okay. Then you're gonna add bay leaf. Okay, so it's literally like a leaf, okay? So you can add one or two. I'm gonna put three, okay? So the star and eyes, that and that. Okay, the scotch butter pepper, I already got that. Now you're gonna use your browning. So I told you guys, this was the one that I used last time, which is the Ultra Cereals um, browning. So I'm gonna use this one because this is the one that I always see in my people house and you know, this is what I grew up with. So, one thing about this stuff, it is very, very strong. So on my paper, I have one and a half tablespoon, okay? But you, I have four pounds of, of oxtail in here, so I'm gonna mix it, and it, it can stain. Um, so be careful. Uh, look at that. And it will stain, like it will stain. Ooh, Lord. Okay, um, a beef stock cube. So this is what that is. So it's one of these, right? Let me put it over here. And I'm gonna break it up. I'm gonna break it up. Some people just let it just, you know, break up on its own. But I'm gonna mash it up because, oh, there we go. Okay. okay. And then brown sugar. So you guys, you know how when you eat oxtails, it has kind of like a sweet taste. It's not like, not super sweet. You know what I'm saying? It has like a, a hint of, of something sweet, sugar. That's exactly what the brown sugar is. Brown sugar is definitely in oxtails my grandmother does it okay you're supposed to only use like one and a half one and one half of it which is basically what i use um parsley you put parsley parsley doesn't really do anything it just gives it a nice look so we're gonna add some parsley okay and then okay so you remember i told you the tomato paste right i have tomatoes in here but i don't really care for tomato paste my mom and my grandmother did, but I don't care for the tomato paste. So you put ketchup. Yes, I know you're like, what? Yep, ketchup. So you just put enough in there to where it covers all your meat. So this is what it looks like so far. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Okay, I hope y'all see that. So I'm gonna mix it up with my hands now. Yep, you gotta put your hands in it. Yes, you do. You gotta put your hands in it. You gotta get all that seasoning all over that meat. Yep. You do. And I promise you, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so amazing, right? And you wanna make sure. Now, a lot of people, after they're done seasoning it, to let it, um, you can let it sit, but since you're putting it, that's if you're making it the other way. If you make it the other way where you're cooking it like on the stove, you let it sit a little bit so that the seasoning can soak in it. But because it's growing in the crock pot, you don't have to let it sit. You're just gonna put it right in there. Mm, it already smells good. I can taste it. I already can taste it. Okay, so I think that's a good one. Let me stir it up some more. Okay, I think that's good. Um, wash my hands real quick. Okay, you guys, so. One of these good old paper towels. Okay. And I'm actually gonna add a little bit more browning 
Let me see if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? I'm gonna add a little bit more browning sauce. Cause, just a little bit. Just that little bit is gonna do so much. Yep, I just wash my hands and then I put my hand right back in there. I don't like stuff all over my damn sauces and seasonings. I'm that kind of person. And if I do, I gotta wipe it all down. None of my seasonings have like sticky stuff over them. I hate that. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna put this in the pot and once I get it in the pot, I'm, I'm gonna go back recording. Well, this is what it looks like so far, okay? And now I'm going to um, plug it up. Yeah, it looks good, I know, it looks amazing. Um, I might end up adding more stuff as it goes, but all you do is cover it, you put it on high, and you let it cook. Now, hold on. Something I do do a little different with crock pot, my crock pot. Um, so everyone's crock pot is made differently. Some people have the latches on the side where they can latch their crock pot down and like make it to where none of the heat comes out. So me, I, I don't tell me. Bruh. Okay. So we're just gonna throw this in the trash. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I messed it up. And it was only a little bit left. So um, I take um, foil paper. Let me put these in there. I take foil paper and I put it on top of it so that it could cook with like all the steam in there. I don't want no steam coming out. And you're gonna cook it for six hours. You can even cook it a little longer just so that it could be super, super like tender, like the meat coming off the bone kind of thing. So each hour I'm gonna stir it. Each hour you check on it, stir it, just to make sure that it's going good and it's not drying out and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm gonna just show y'all basically what I mean by, oh, and I think I need to put more ketchup, so. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more ketchup. I'm telling y'all. Y'all probably looking at me like, what the hell, ketchup, really? Yep, ketchup is supposed to go in the oxtails. It really is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mix this up a little bit more. I was thinking about putting potatoes in here, but I don't think I have enough um, what is it? space. And my daughter is destroying the house as I'm trying to show y'all something. <laughs> <laughs> Mama is so bad, y'all. She's getting to this age, and I think it's because she's about to hit two. So she's turning into like a little terrible two kind of thing. Yep, I called her a thing. Um, okay, so that's good. I think that juice is going to just soak in there. Okay. And it tastes good so far. You're real quick, you do taste your, your, your seasoning a little bit. Um, so you see this, I put this on there, and then I'm all I'm gonna do is just put, ew, what is that? Oh, that's the juice from the oxygen. So extra. Okay, let me try this on. But I'm gonna just put the top on it, and it's gonna start cooking, and each hour you check it, and I'm gonna show you our finished result, because this is actually dinner for tomorrow, and I'm gonna make like baked macaroni, I know that's so American, but yeah, usually you don't do that. But I'm gonna, but I'm gonna make some baked macaroni, some cornbread, and white rice, and that is gonna be our dinner. But I'm gonna show you guys everything after the finished results. And that's it, you guys. That is it. So check on your oxtails each hour, you guys. Each hour, don't forget check on them. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. I'm not gonna do that. All right, you guys. Good morning, you guys. So, y'all know, I, well, I ended up going to bed. Um, I turned my oxtails off, but I hope everybody's oxtails um, look like this. Okay. 
this is what they should look like now one thing i didn't tell you guys right, is I that is that at night i mean i said at night what one thing about you guys um oxtail it makes a lot of oil so you're going to have to skim the oil off the top and i'm gonna show you how to do that okay you guys so this is how you skim the oil off the top right you're gonna like push down and you should see the oil like coming in now i've already been doing it and look at all that oil and i'm throwing that away i don't we don't need that that's not good for our bellies we're trying to get as, as rid of as much of it as we can without getting so much of the seasoning. And you guys, so quick, quick, quick. Devon hit 500K. Well, mama has the five. Hold on, let me step back so you guys can see it. Devon hit 500K on TikTok. Okay, we hit 500K on TikTok. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Yay! Say yay, ma. Say yay, stinks. <laughs> so you guys, Devon bought balloons because he hit 500k last night at 12 p. Well, 12 a.m. <laughs> he hit 500k on the head. That's crazy. All those zeros. But you guys, this is really was supposed to be um. Sunday's dinner, but this is today's dinner, and I'm making baked macaroni, um, white rice, and cornbread. Just because. So, when it's all done, the plate is done, I will show you guys. These niggas acting like they got it, they pretending, nigga. I caught the bag, I got the money, apprehended, nigga. Chasing non stop, I'm long winded, nigga. Call me Money Mayweather. Cause a 